I understand what you're saying. I think what you're trying to get at, I think that's a great philosophy to do a new vision. I mean, we sat down and met, part of what you're talking about is that vision that we went through. We went through a whole process and we brought in the teachers and, and, and we had a vision for where we wanted District 58 to go. It had nothing really to do with hiring a superintendent. The new superintendent that we hired, God bless him, he was the one that said, you ought to have a vision because you guys don't have a vision. And I think that's the process where you bring in everybody and you sit down and say, what do you see that we do very well and what do you think that we ought to be going? And then it isn't a board-driven vision, it's a community-driven vision, and then you can take your superintendent, whoever that person is, and do the vision, move the district toward your vision. I don't see that you're going to create a vision and then hire a superintendent. I, I really don't, I don't see that. I see a lot of time. I'm not quite sure that this board, especially Alan, if you're gone and I'm gone, this is a very young board. And I don't see that they're going to be up to that in hiring a superintendent and doing this vision and all that stuff at once. I think they're going to have to hire somebody and then bring in the people and get the vision. I think it's, I really believe that to me it's a different process than what we're talking about. I, I think that you're underplaying, downplaying the importance that a superintendent has in creating the vision and atmosphere of the district. You know, Quentin has been here for 15 years. This has been Quentin's district. He, he has set a tone for this district for 15 years. And, and, and I, I think that the tone that we have is intimately wrapped up in, in who Quentin is. It's, it's not, it's not, we're not directing Quentin to have a, a particular tone. Okay, we can't do that. You, you, you can't, you can't change a person's personality. You can't change a leader's personality. Um, as a board, we are, we are Quentin's creatures at this particular point. Okay, as a district, we are Quentin's creatures, okay? So the, the hiring of a superintendent is, is vitally important because you can't just say, all right, we'll hire a superintendent and that person's a blank slate and then, then we'll have a visioning process or, or whatever, if we decide to do that later and, and tell the superintendent who he's going to be. It doesn't work that way. I mean, you, you know, if you were a superintendent, if I were a superintendent, there would be two different different districts here, very different, no, no matter what the board was, was telling us to do, okay? So I, 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 I have to disagree with what you're just saying. I, I, I think that the search for a superintendent is, is, a, is a critical juncture in the life of the school district. And, and, and whether, whether you do a new one every year or you have one that lasts for 15 years, it's, it's, a, it's a critical turning point where you, you set a course until you have the next superintendent. And, and it's vital that you have, you, you do that and it's considered and careful a way as possible, whether it takes you three months, six months, whatever. I mean, you know, as, as they were saying, don't rush into this. Don't, don't settle for somebody just because you've gone through the whole process and you couldn't find anybody. Okay, go through it another time. You know, it's so important. And I, I, I think we're driven by, I think we're, a lot of us are driven by panic and fear right now. We, we've had a superintendent for 15 years. We haven't gone through this process. It's, it looks like a really daunting task to us to, to find somebody to replace Quentin. And, and a lot of us sitting around this table are, are afraid of the work that we have to do to do that, afraid of the result that we're going to have, that, that whoever it is is not going to measure up to Quentin. Um, there's a lot of fear and panic right now around this table. But I, I would hate to think that we would throw away an opportunity to consider who we are just because we're afraid. 